See, the, this is, as you know, complex analysis is the core subject. The reason is, as I said, it's a kind of, see, a lot of uh, modern notions like uh, topology, geometry, etc. is the outcome of a single person, Bernard Riemann. That's why I admire him. Okay. And complex analysis tries to give, as I said, it's a fine meeting ground of analysis, geometry, and topology. Okay. And so, first thing is, there should be a, not be any kind of preconceived notion what next for complex analysis for me. Think of it as a kind of uh, morning you get up and do your Raman yoga or exercise and the breathing, uh, pranayama or whatever it is, or gym, hit the gym and okay. And if you are bodybuilder, take protein shake, okay. It's like that. It's just for your growth, intellectual growth in mathematical sense. Okay. So any student of mathematics, serious student of mathematics who loves math should go through it. After what after depends on his predilection, uh, his own I mean, uh, inclination. If you want, you can go for a had a multi-dimensional several variable complex analysis, which is a fantastic field. Okay, and again, it has a lot of algebra topology, geometry. Okay, there are groups which did only with algebra topology. Okay. There are groups which did only with a, a geometric approach using hyperbolic manifolds and that kind of, you know, various defect relations, Navalina theory, etc. There are also people like Hermander who did completely beautiful analysis. Again, there are three different approaches to the same field. So it again shows complex analysis is a fine meeting ground of all these things, geometry, topology, and analysis. So you have to take your pick. Yeah. And uh, th there is another aspect because I already introduced the notion of uh, a complex manifold. Okay. Then you can go for uh, high dimensional complex manifolds. Okay. You don't really have to learn several variable calculus, several variable complex analysis for that. That's very interesting. <laughs> Whereas for, <laughs> for differential manifolds, you need. Okay. This you can get away with that. Okay. Because many other things can be brought down to one variable, possibly. Uh, anyway, so one can do for uh, the so-called Hermitian geometry, complex geometry. Okay, it all depends. Yeah. There is one more thing which I wanted to say. If I remember, I will come back about this. There are many aspects. Yeah, right, sorry. I I remembered. And also you can see the, the so-called multi-valued functions. I tried to explain. As I said, I have given baby steps how what was Raymond's idea how to think of multi-valuedness as a single valued function and yeah, some other object, you have topological space, which is actually some kind of a manifold on which uh, this multi-valuedness disappears. Okay, the duality becomes a single kind of thing. Okay, there is no multi-valuedness. So that I had also explained some thing. And, but then it's a fantastic study, separate study on its own, the so-called Raymond surfaces. And there are Indian mathematicians like uh, Narasimhan, Shashadri, Ramanan have done wonderful works, which are uh, even today are being used in mathematical physics. So it's a wide open. It depends upon one's interest, one's uh, inclination, and also some uh, kind of being there in the correct place. Okay, otherwise you may miss it. Right, I, you may be uh, with me, then you may not learn about other things like that, you know. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't sound very properly, but uh, I hope you understand. All right. So for example, I may not be what I am today if I have not been in TA4. I was good, yes. As I said in my earlier interview, I would have happily retired as a college teacher and minted a lot of money by giving tuitions possibly. Just because I happen to go to TA4, there are a lot of intelligent people more intelligent than I am by discussing with them, my interest, my idea of mathematics changed and very many diverse area, I got to know much better, all such things and what, okay, it all depends. So that's why I said, even 
that's one of the reasons i insist on students don't worry about you know, when you go to an institute don't think of it's a great institute or anything it's a great institute because you have good peers there are a lot of good students okay who are also equally motivated and who are enthusiastic so you learn a lot from them that is the most important thing not because there are teachers kumarasen may be there hilbert may be there raman may be there no i am not in their class by the way okay <laughs> that's not the real reason the real okay but such, such people also matter because they will give a spark okay so that's what i said no it, it depends on your inclination your aptitude and being in the right place okay that's very important and uh, okay so try to go through fine this is not directly related to what you ask but i think it's a good message for students to know what are the what are the geometric ideas of integration so you know you it's a very easy if you had understood the line integral concept of vector analysis and multivariable calculus it's exactly the same except it's a complex work okay complex see when you write something like a uh, vector valued function right let us say t going to f of t is an r n valued along the path gamma right then what do you do the physicists will interpret the line in darlas f of gamma t dot gamma dot t that is is f of gamma t the think of the work force at uh, gamma in this direction this is the work okay this is a force okay then when you move something along this the work done by the force is what they compute all right and that's exactly what you are doing in terms of here it's not a vector it's a complex number that's it so that's the best way okay and you should not think of anything else and another thing is as i keep saying sometime you should get used to that notion okay there are a lot of small things you will be very surprised people don't think very deep just imagine when we introduce paper currency instead of gold coins okay which is a uh, the uh, king's seal mudra is there okay all of sudden one paper currency this stands for something like when you introduce it was against one gold measurement see 100 rupee note when they issued it was supposed to be equivalent to some let's say 2 gram or now those days not gram something of gold it is in reserve with me so i am backing that currency is early so you would see at that point of time people would have been afraid i would love i know for gold this is some stupid paper okay why should i trust now today not even that digital okay everything is account okay you have crores of rupees here crores of rupees goes there you don't know what has happening you don't put your hand on but on the other hand you can get something today i want this i can buy this using that so it's a change of kind of the way of changing perspective so i will come to that you i, I will always try, you know give out such a things so that to make a point the person once you learn how to look in the direction you will understand what i am trying to now come back to your seventh or eighth standard they do this polynomial okay something like 5x squared plus 3x minus 7 <coughs> okay you don't know okay then they will only say no x equal to you put any number okay then you know what is it? that's what it stands for then i can multiply <coughs> i can do various things okay then what do you do just a some kind of idea after that you learn how to work with that you follow that so sometime you should have a very vague idea if it gives a reasonable comfort for you accept it then learn to work with that concept for example i will again give one more example when the you know when the shares were made dmat that is earlier you have to have only physical certificates for share certificates okay one of my friends uh, father in law was always working with uh, in the share market making a lot of money <coughs> when me, government made it completely dmat that is everything is only digital he was very 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 uncomfortable he lost sleep for months together because he was used to physical okay i hold amon amon uh, to, to, to 1 million shares of reliance okay then i am in a multi crore okay so i have that now all of a sudden you say that thing it's, it's i have to look at computer or i have to ask the fellow you look at the computer and tell you okay you want so much and so much of bonus shares is given to you or this is the rate at which it is working he felt very uncomfortable whereas when he had a physical current thing he did 
But just as I said, go even thousand years before, or I mean, uh, four hundred years before when they used to, I mean, three hundred years before when they introduced them I on mean, paper currency. Our forefathers would have been very, very uncomfortable with that. So, one thing which all of you should learn whenever you learn a new concept, try to me give some kind of a small boy, D U O Y. That is something with which you can float. Okay, don't worry about whether it is complete. It will be a savior or anything. No. Okay, it gives some kind of comfort. It makes you think that yes, I have an idea what it is. Hard to that learn to work with that, work with the concept. So, for example, in the, when you ask for complex integer, I just said that I explained what it means in line integral. Now I said f of gamma t into gamma prime t. This is a complex number. This is a complex number. This is something like a work done complex number. Now your work, my forces, not real numbers or vector field. Okay, vector valued functions, but it is complex number. So it's a work done by complex. Accept it. See, this is really, I mean, you know, I mean. I may begin to cry. You know, tears may roll down my eyes. Yeah. See, I since I was not completing this real Riemann geometry and uh, complex analysis, I just wanted to have some kind of a uh, away from my university so that you know I can concentrate on this book writing. And then uh, you know, I was a professor. I could have. Uh, I will do what they call sabbatical leave because I had already completed more than seven years, so I can have one year of thing. Some of my colleagues have done it; they never wrote a book. They will usually write, "I am writing a book," and they will take sabbatical. Then after a year, they will join. But that one year, you will also get uh, your salary, etc. <laughs> but okay, you will simply say it's a book in student writing or some sort. Anyway, but I didn't want to because my book, my book is already ready. It just wanted the final touches and finishing touches, and. Even this was an afterthought. Adding few more advanced topics for complex analysis was an afterthought after I reached a tier stage because I have done everything. Then I wanted to do something to spend my time. Anyway, so what happened was within about fifteen days of or ten days after going there, my father was staying with me, and he fell down. He was bedridden. And he had to be carried to hospital, underwent surgery. Even after that, he was unable to walk. He was bedridden. So I wanted to cancel my trip and come back to India. But my wife asked me to stay. So I dedicated this book to my wife, and also throughout the last, you know, year since we were married, she has always supported me to do my work and gave top priority to my work. Yeah. In fact, almost all books should be dedicated to her. Actually, um, I was not aware of this fact, you know, which you said uh, for doing uh, geometry on complex manifolds, you don't need multivariable uh, yeah. calculus when geometry. <laughs> yes, uh, it's very interesting. Because the, that's because a very simple basic result. I think it knows. Uh, nowadays, I am uh, I am aware from it. Earlier, I I read a lot of books. In fact, Hormondas book also I read completely, but uh, I think it's known as Hartex phenomenon or anything. Uh -huh. See, if I have a function from C n to C m, right? It's mm -hmm. going to be holomorphic only if each other component is holomorphic mm -hmm. kind of thing. So it reduces everything to one variable thing, uh -huh. roughly. So most other things, when you want to look at the behavior, etc., you can reduce. So you don't really need that. Uh -huh. And uh, what you really need is only the Cauchy Riemann aspect of that. Uh -huh. That is uh, the tangent bundle admits a complex structure. Uh -huh. And in modern language, one calls it integrable. Uh -huh. That's it. It's not infinitesimal, only at that level. But then it's actually, it comes from manifold level, you have a complex structure, therefore it gets translated to tangent, tangent uh -huh. space. Yeah. That's integrable complex structures. 
uh, and once you accept that okay that's a complicated analysis theorem you accept it okay mm-hmm. then i'm on uh, you don't need anything anybody can read complex analysis beautifully and read it yeah yeah but the same thing can be said of real manifold that's very something so really surprising <laughs> Yeah. But uh, the real manifold uh, uh, knowledge is very much needed even in complex manifold because when you want to, you want to do with them on, uh, you know, a differentiation on the, you know, sections and uh, say infinity, whatever analysis, essentially it boils down to something to do with the RN and local properties. So, yeah, I think the good book in that respect may be a uh, R.O. Wells book. I think analysis on complex manifolds are some such name. Okay. Yeah. And other one is a principle of algebraic geometry by Griffiths and Harris. Mm-hmm. That also deals with complex manifolds in the beginning. But uh, Griffiths and Harris, I mean, suffers from the same problem as mine. There are just too many typos. Even the ideas are correct, okay? <laughs> There will be some <laughs> wrong typos. When he wants to sum over I, he will sum it over J, and there will be both indices. all such small mistakes will be there but it's a uh, worth learning from the book Griff- mm-hmm. griffiths and harris mm-hmm. but the ideas are very clear there in that book mm-hmm. yeah in fact i would like to t- take this opportunity to thank um, techno world uh, see for 280 <laughs> pages okay with a high quality paper you can see this paper is better than my riemann geometry paper by the way <laughs> okay and uh, 240 pages uh, extremely cheap it's uh, people who really buy should thank techno world i'm very happy that i gave because you know i never worried about money royalty or anything i just wanted it to reach to a large number of students i hope it serves the purpose but uh, one message i would like to give to the people who watch if you are seriously interested in learning complex analysis do not fight against the trend okay what do i mean by that your teacher may swear by all fours or conway or lang or Ch- brown and Ch- churchill and brown or whatever okay gamblin i don't know there may be a lot of other books okay don't worry about it go through it read and you read my book also don't worry about it okay for example point of view for getting a man a pat good patter from your teacher you follow his whatever he says don't worry okay but read it and do not worry about okay remembering anything which you read in my book this is true of my any book or my videos also just to go with the flow because i see i, I show how i think so you just to observe that you will be surprised you will also begin to think okay in your own way that's more important you don't not remember anything but you will be surprised all of a sudden you can do a lot of things mathematics on your own okay so my sincere trend is because this book is slightly radical i am not sure it's going to be accepted as a textbook any times too soon and so i so i do not worry about whether it's going to be accepted as a textbook or not for example you any of you who all of you must have seen my linear algebra book do you think i'm on it is written as a textbook for any course any of you think that no i never write a book as a textbook i write a book because i want you to read the book understand enjoy and have confidence you know the subject okay if with that view we read this book also you will enjoy okay and do not confuse this with your regular textbook and why that is done that way this is done this way don't get confused okay this think of it as a separate thing it's a training ground for you to look at certain way of looking at complex analysis <coughs> with that modest time you will derive great benefits okay don't fight with people just go with the flow yes some part of those uh, complex analysis that you are giving in mtts i was there i mean i couldn't because i was in some other Yeah. You know, class, so I used to on and off comment. Uh, you know, I remember 
you yes. start playing with series and then going ahead i remember right right yes yeah i think two or three times i had given sartana may remember but uh, yeah because i the, see the, when they come to level 2 i they have already gone through you no know, topology little bit of topology first year msc right so topology they know metric space they know real analysis they would have seen so i immediately jump into power series start with radius of convergence and prove yeah you're right in fact that's what i suggested about uh, 45 minutes ago also if you are very good then you just uh, yeah even yeah even yeah, some yeah, those uh, some one of those uh, one of those mtps programs you advised me to give some uh, sessions on uh, somewhat algebraic topology starting with the you know uh, what is that discontinuity of uh, what uh, um, i mean the argument function from yes. there you pick up existence of argument from there you know you can i mean i i i, I really enjoyed it i mean two two three weeks i think i two weeks at least i Uh, many of them but so called many things were derived using you know this uh, concept yes exactly yeah in fact you you will see in my in this book i had given a argument thing so the winding number i explicitly see you just accept it okay in the law gamma over d z minus alpha dz okay then it's a winding number of gamma at uh, gamma around the path r up the point alpha okay how many times it winds around alpha some sort yes yes okay just uh, you accept it but actually what i do is okay you can you can look at um, some circle or some such thing and you have but in i think since I, my thing was starting with the argument on logarithm their interconnection what i do is i actually in one section i said it is optional if you want you can omit i introduce along the path gamma you can introduce a continuous argument therefore it's a closed path when you actually get the winding number is number of times okay how many two pi you add or subtract whatever this the okay theta. it i very rigorously proved i don't think it is i have found in any book <laughs> yeah you're right yeah there are a lot of such small small nuggets among its okay i really put my heart and and remember this book was done uh, roughly in 90 92 and first time tested on 94 i sandana will remove all those dates properly for one emptiness uh, i remember who were the students amrutan shu prasad who is now at uh, imsc and uh, professor dani's elder daughter and there was one more person they, they all are doing well that's why i remember them they were the guinea pigs for that approach that year yeah.